I'd like to say a little bit. Twice, come on. Okay. Hallelujah. Word of body. I wasn't planning on this, but uh, Paul mentioned a few things, so I have to contribute a little bit. And uh, you don't want to hear my testimony, that's for sure. Paul is pretty. And there is enough time, that's for sure. But what I want to say is this, that a few years back, I lost my first wife. Uh, she passed away in a home here in Kitchener with all runners. And um, at that time I was going to the Lord to the Road Christian Fellowship, which is just outside of Alora. And uh, anyway, uh, of course, after she passed away, I still went for a while. But it was getting a little far to go, and uh, I was, at that time I was staying with my daughter and her husband in New Hamburg, and so it was getting a little far to go, and I said to Pastor one day, I said, uh, Brother Hank, I said, it's getting a little bit far to go, and it was fine when we were together going, it was good. But now all of a sudden I'm by myself, and it's getting a little much. And I said, maybe I'll look for somewhere else. And he said, I can understand that. You go ahead. Well, of course, I, I left. And, you know, where am I going to go now? And uh, you have to understand also, time has gone by. And I'm getting lonesome. You know, after 56 and a half years of being married to a very wonderful person, and all of a sudden that person is gone. And as the brother mentioned a little while ago about a fellow that has a saying, when it's tough, too tough for everybody else, it's just right for me. I'm the one that told him that. Yeah. <laughs> and I live like that. And I believe I still do to a certain extent. And I really have to rely on the Lord. But I used to live like that. But you know, when my first wife passed away, I couldn't handle it. I thought I could handle everything. And I couldn't handle everything. And so anyway, of course, I leave and I said to my youngest daughter, and she's going to Pentecostal Church in Waterloo, and I said, Yvonne, maybe I'll go there with you kids. She says, Dad, there's nobody there for you. <laughs> well, I said, <"It's> not. <laughs> of course, I'm looking, eh? <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, a couple days later, I, you know, it gets so bad sometimes, tough as you are. I will say. Talk about maybe committing suicide. Oh yeah, real. I thought about it every day. People are there every day. And then I said, Lord, no way am I going to leave you. There's no way. No matter what happens, I'm sticking with you. Amen. And then shortly after that, I said, Lord, I need somebody. I don't know who she is. I don't know where she is. Oh yeah. But you know. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. And you said you would give me the desires of my heart, Amen. that you would never leave me nor forsake me. <laughs> and that was it. Well, a couple days later, <laughs> oh, my name came to my mind. <coughs> His name is Ken Miles. He's the pastor of KW Christian Fellowship. I know him. I've known him for 20 years. The cross in his church, my son made it. The charity was using him. We gave to him. I'll go there. And it's closer to home, too. Well, that was a Wednesday. Sunday, I said, I'm going. Yes. And I went. Young fellow greeted me at the door, nobody else around, just him. 
I take my coat off and walk in the foyer. And there's a young lady. <laughs> She's kneeling down in the middle of the foyer, saying her shrewd was believed. happened as time went by and anyway later on she says to me um, let's go to Good Samaritan Church. Oh. I used to live in Bread I looked at this building so many times I am funny. <laughs> it didn't mean nothing to me. Still didn't mean nothing to me. She said I used to go there one time. Let's go there. Well, I didn't feel like going. I don't know. I just didn't. Well, I don't know. Maybe a couple of weeks went by, maybe less. She said, she asked me again. I said, yeah, okay, I'll go. We went to church. Met. As we're coming out the door, Pastor Ralph was at the door greeting everyone. And of course, June knew him. And I never met him before. And she said, uh, as I, she introduced me to him and said, we're going to get married. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he said, he said, oh, let me do it. <laughs> he said, let me do it. Yeah. Okay. I said, when? He said, the sooner the better. <laughs> <laughs> With the two weeks of the My, my, so, my, my. And you know, as we talked later on, she said, I've seen you approximately 15 20 years ago Whoa. in Lower Road Christian Fellowship. Wow. But I never met her. We never met each other. Wow. And I said to her, says, I know the Lord gave you a look at me that long time ago because he already knew what's coming. Wow. I didn't. Wow. We didn't. But he knew. <coughs> and so you never know. He's coming down the road. Sometime <laughs> he's there, yeah. Coming down the road. We have to be patient. And, uh, we want to get everything done yesterday. And so, anyhow, uh, you know, a couple of weeks went by and we got married, and that was on May the 17th. And that'll be six years ago, come May 17th, since the Lord joined us together. Amen. Thank you for it. Amen. 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 Just on resentment again, like I, because I was just as you were preaching, whenever you were talking about your daughter, they can only call her when she wants something. We're talking about people. It's not that bad, but I don't uh, no, no, <laughs> People that were late, like, you know, and I related to that because I just went to a couple of times and did something to end up Then I realized, like, you know, that that was all included. That was somebody I'd forgotten about. <laughs> <laughs> but the long and short of it is, though, God says, I'm asking you to not resent others. Do you not realize I can help you or anyone else in the world you do? And that was the beauty of the thing. That Go ahead. God does not resent us. I just want to thank, give thanks to the Lord for the preaching tonight and for the singing. And uh, I just can't believe that I'm that blessed to be here. My wife, are, to, so thank, thank you, Lord, for the preaching and the singing. Everybody, thank you. Hallelujah. You know, we all go through seasons. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, look at the calendar. Spring's on the way. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. And you know if we're if we are going through things and we are the righteous, mm. what about the others that have to stick yeah. a needle in their arm? Dear God. And have to pop pills. Dear God. Drown their sorrows. Yeah. I think one of the greatest experiences I ever had in my ministry was I was in the supermarket. 
my heyday, I used to read the New Testament through once a month. And I read the Bible through twice every year, cover to cover. Spent a lot of time on my knees. And probably a lot closer to the Lord than I am now, shame to say it. But I was in the grocery store. And this woman was crying. I remember it was the dog food aisle. And the Lord spoke to me and said, tell her he's with me. That's all we want me to